It's time to showcase what trap tricks might look like in the near future. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so we can continue on with the holiday series. Now, the first winner will be down below, which was from Friday for those of you rolling on in here to see what we're doing today. I'm going to be shipping out another envelope of sleeves to one winner out there. Well, the reason why we're doing this is I've been dabbling in making, you know, more custom merch and things like that. And it's just been nice to kind of give some of the stuff out to the community for free. I always hear that people are like, hey, I, I need sleeves. Like, and I'm like, all right, well, I, I can answer that for the holidays for a few people to kind of start things off here until we get into some bigger stuff. So if you want to get the chance to get in for some sleeves, please just leave a comment down below. Of course, share the video so that the algorithm does the algorithm thing and more people can see these. The 12 days are, uh, well, the 12 days of deck profiles and series is uh, one of my favorite times on this channel because we get to spread some holiday spirit, whether or not, you know, you care about that kind of stuff. If not, it's a chance to win some free stuff from me as well and I do want to hear you know how your December is going as well and anything that you guys want to see kind of moving forward here in the series like are some of the more useful things I mean use this time as like a, a little feedback time to kind of communicate some things with me that you want to see on the channel for whether or not the 12 day series some other possible upcoming stuff or just overall general things like that so definitely I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the thoughts on trap tricks here especially you know when we look into the build here to kind of see what's going on so honestly yeah that's that's honestly the 12 days and we're also going to have spoiler alert uh, we'll be doing our Tournament of Madness, uh, which should be on the 24th on a Saturday evening. So if you guys want to win some huge, huge prizes during that time, I am absolutely excited to see how that one's going to unfold for you. It's totally free, and it's just a good time to get together with the community. All right, we're going to pass it on over so you can see what we've got going on here for Trap Tricks. All right, so the list that we're going to be looking at today is from my dear friend and Rated, who just religiously plays Control very in text. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I've been told I've got Robbie. There's there's like three different versions of trap tricks that you can play right now. He's like the best one that I've got the best build for right now is the control variant. I was like, I don't know how y'all come up with this much time to do this, but the first list that we have here, or actually the only list for this video, is going to be the control variant because. Honestly, I, I do like the control variant a little bit more. This is this is more my style. The only problem that Trap Tricks actually still feels like it has is, you know, uh, going second isn't exactly the uh, the greatest thing out there in the world, which is perfectly understandable. So we play one copy of the Arachna Campa. This is during the main phase. If you control a Trap Tricks monster, you can quick effect special summon this card from your hand, and then you cannot special summon from the extra for this turn except for insect and or plant monsters. And then standard, um, unaffected by whole normal trap cards. And then the first time each set card in your spell and trap card zone be destroyed by card effect, it is not destroyed. So you can actually do some shenanigans with this to revive this to protect your back row. It doesn't come up as much as you would think, but you, you can you get some interactions with it. We also have one copy of Atrax. Atrax is still going to be one of the more basic cards for you to play, and it's a one of. We have triple copies of Dianea. This is still going to be also one of the best ones. Getting the ability to standard revive and extend out is really good. And of course, we have Triple Mantis. On normal, you get to add your Trap Tricks monster from your deck to your hand. And then, of course, a good old Myra Melio. The mandatory pop effect is actually really, really good because. You know, getting the Sarah trigger for you to continue extending on is really good. And then we're playing two copies of, uh, what is it, Pudiga? Uh, unaffected by whole normal trap cards. And when it's normal summon, you can add the new field spell from your deck to your hand. All right. And then if this card is special summon, you can target one special summon monster opponent controls. And you can basically uh, do the Doom Lord effect where you banish it. And then they get to special summon one of their banished monsters. It's actually kind of worse than Doom Lord because if it just returned it back to the field, I'd be fine with that, but they get the ability to special summon anything from their banish pile. So if they set up like some crazy, like possible extenders in there, 
you're gonna you're gonna have some issues to kind of clean up along the way, and that's not gonna be something that you really wanna, I guess, is deal with. And then we have one copy of Vesquillo here, wrapping up your monster lineup. If you do notice, we aren't playing any hand traps in this variant. Um, I know a few people are gonna be a little bit more on edge about that. They're gonna be like, "Where are the hand traps, Robbie?" Um, you, you're kind of just committing to go first. Now we also get the trap tricks of lore here. This is one of the best cards that this deck got. It's discard a level four insect or play a monster or a normal trap card, draw two cards. All right, so think about that for a second. You have a destiny draw for the three archetypes, handed to you for free, by the way. You banish this card from graveyard target one of your banished uh, level four insect or plant monsters or one of your banished normal trap cards you can place on the bottom of the deck I really wish that this gave you the ability to draw a card, but it is a free recycle engine um, Just for that. I mean the only thing you really care about is the draw one and then trap tricks orchard So during your main phase you can normal summon one trap tricks monster in addition to your normal summoner set now Keep in mind that we've needed a ability like that for a while for this deck and the first time each of your insect and or plant monster be destroyed by battle each turn it is not destroyed you can banish one monster you control this buff summon a trap tricks a monster from your hand or graveyard so this actually will give you some extension options so you can technically you know start with my Romelio for your normal summon go ahead and uh you know load up for a sarah and then as long as you can rotate back into if you have another monster you can revive your my Romelio and then continue on with your day it's not bad actually we have one bottomless trap hole, triple compulsory evacuation device, and we have the one delusion trap hole. So this is your new power up. If your opponent's watching is a monster this turn, all right, that's it. That's your condition. Target one monster they control with 2,000 or more attack, destroy it. Then if you have a whole normal trap card in your graveyard, you can banish one monster from your opponent's graveyard. You can only activate one delusion trap hole per turn. That's actually pretty solid. The floating condition is what you really care about on this. We have triple copies of the Grave uh, Trapple. We have triple copies of Solemn Strike. And we're still playing triple copies of Shade Brigadine. You might argue that you might want to focus on, you know, the new one, but I think it's fine. We also have one Trap Trick, and we have two copies of Holtia. So this is special summon this card in defense position as a normal trap with Plant Earth level 4, attack 400, 2400 defense. And this card is not treated as a trap card. You can activate the card this turn, or the turn it was set, by discarding a normal trap card. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one Trap Tricks monster in your graveyard, special to summon it, all right? Now, keep in mind that this is a hole, all right? This does give you the ability to kind of extend on out and do some things. Now, whether or not you choose to, you know, play more Shade Brigadines or this, this does take the inherent minus one of this, so you're going to have to discard, you know, in order to get this up and running. But it does, you know, meet the quota for what you need for this deck. And we have two Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. Tiny in the extra deck yet, of course. Your triple Sarah, all right? You have one copy of Cruloria, a one copy of Phoenix with one Asa, one Axis Machine, one Reflasia, and then we have one copy of the Pink Hula. So this is unaffected by whole uh, uh, trap effects, or excuse me, by trap effects, and is unaffected by the other monster effects with the same type as material attached to this card. You can detach one material from this card to add a Trap Tricks monster from your deck to your hand. Yay, another searcher. And if a monster that, or monster or monsters that is owned by your opponent is sent to the grave or banished by a card effect, you can attach one of those cards to this card as material. Now, this is a 2500. This does give the ability to start sucking up other materials that the opponent basically is kind of leaving in the wake for you to suck up, which is actually kind of a nice effect. I, I hadn't really considered how good that that was because as soon as you start getting the chance to, you know, start disrupting the opponent's materials and you're like, oh, okay, that just went to the graveyard. I'll go ahead and suck it up underneath this. So that's now one less card that your opponent can access in their graveyard to use as a threat against you. Um, and it can also mess up some of their combo lines as well, which is actually pretty nice at the end of the day. So, you know, for this being the better power up one, it's really good. So you also notice down here in the extra deck, we are not playing the new Link 3. Uh, the Link 3 is a good card. It's just having to dedicate three materials to it when, well, you know, setting up something like this or, you know, Reflasia with Sarah just feels a little bit better. We also have one Almoraris, one Time Thief Reader, one Baguski, one Exiton Knight with one Zeus, and then one Abyssal. And on your side deck here, you got Triple Dimension Shifter. If you really want to play these in the main or feel the need to, you can. We have two copies of Lord of the Heavenly Prison. We got triple copies of Dark Roll No More. Uh, we have one Harpies for the Duster. You're triple evenly matched and triple copies of Solemn Judgment here. Wrapping up some Trap Tricks vibes 
post structure deck and uh, I will say this deck feels really really awesome like it's such a major upgrade for the trap tricks archetype that it's very nice to see so did you guys enjoy please leave a comment down below make sure you guys get in for the goodies and well I'll see you back here for day three peace out guys patrons thank you Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.